Well, hello everybody, it is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back tonight with episode number three of Going Medieval. We're going medieval tonight. Uh, it is a community management game um, produced by Foxy Voxel. It is uh, a lot of fun, objectively, and it's a little bit like RimWorld without maybe some of the more sophisticated uh, personality or character interaction mechanics, um, but let's face it, way better graphics and building mechanics. So yeah, where we leave off. Um, this is the this is the settlement of Ravensworth. Ravensworth Castle is a real castle uh, in the United Kingdom. Um, at least was 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 a real castle in the United Kingdom, um, where you know it, it fell into ruin and disrepair after the War of the Roses ended. Um, so you know we're a little bit before that time. This is what Ravensworth circa. 1353 is the date, and Ravensworth was the uh, a traditional home of the Fitzhugh family. Um, so I've got the ancient arms of Fitzhugh um, representing the uh, settlement here. And, you know, as a community management game, um, we're going to be goal-oriented, so uh, I'm going to set some goals tonight. We're going to build a smith. Um, we're going to build a smithy, um, someplace a blacksmith to uh, work metal and make things, weapons and armor. Um, we're going to harvest a bunch of stuff and, oh, we're going to tame that sheep, that sheep that just came in there. Hopefully, maybe we won't, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to actually prioritize that right now. Oh, it's already tame. Look at that. We got a sheep. I don't have to tame the sheep. We got a sheep. Where's my sheep? Where's my sheep? Seward, bring the sheep in, but he can't for some reason. I guess I will. That's the next thing I gotta do. Um, be prioritize animal husbandry for him. We get this character, Christian, uh, who joined us in the last uh, episode. Uh, Christian's a bit of a weirdo. He's quite good at crafting um, with a 23 construction and a 17 mining. This is a guy you want cutting out stone and making new blocks. Um, but he's got some foibles, um, some little, little quirks in his personality. Um, he is ill-favored, which means um, he's, he's just not, like, super, super attractive. People don't like talking to him. Um, he's disfigured, which even beyond, um, his, his ill favor, um, uh, it reduces his speechcraft even further. So he's not really a people person at all. Um, and he's sluggardly, so he's slow. He, he has good crafting ability, but he is slow at getting things done. He actually also has, uh, what, 10 in tailoring with two stars. So this is someone who could become the tailor for the community without much effort. And finally, he is, um, perhaps most problematically, a cannibal. Um, so Christian has uh, developed a little a little taste for the man flesh, for the, the long pig. Um, and as a result, I don't know if we're going to keep him or not. We're going to see how he works out, but he is on probation. Um, as far as everybody else, I'm going to have them start hauling, except for Anais, who is actually going to be cooking and research, and everybody else can haul. I'm just going to give them all the same order, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll speed time up. And I'm I'm also going to start now blocking out the uh, the smithy that that's going to get built eventually. Um, this is more this is more going to be like a late fall project. I think uh, before fall sets in, I would like to I would like to have. Um, it's going to actually go out to there, but we'll leave that for now. Uh, I would like to have a bunch of food stockpiled, frankly, before fall rolls around. So that would be uh, optimal. And okay, we'll go down there. Open the door up there. It's going well. And so this building uh, is going to be a combination um, like blacksmiths. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? A combination blacksmiths uh, workshop uh, that'll be downstairs, and the main floor is likely going to have um, some manner of uh, residential, um, and they will be separated by a door so that I can get that that extra workshop bonus, which I only just discovered. Uh, if you watched the last episode. I only just discovered in the last episode how that workshop bonus actually works. So, but we're going to go for it. 
Okay, and... I don't know why I don't actually put two doors in. That makes sense to me, because there's also going to be doors here and here. Yeah, that looks good. And I guess I can close off the floor. You know, they're not going to start working on it right away. They're going to have to uh, get around to it in the rotation of tasks. Uh, I also need to block out some stone to mine. Um, we're actually going to trim off uh, this entire face. And I'm just going to create these longer uh, strip mines um, where there's where there's clearly stone deposits. To be honest, there's not too much accessible stone for this place. It's too bad, but... But yeah, really, like, this is, uh, this, this game is a lot of fun, and as I say that, Thor's hammer shows up. Fuck. Don't hit my sheep, don't hit my sheep. Oh, speaking of sheep. Did he, so is Seward not going to get the sheep? I guess because I... There we go. There he goes. We're going to get struck by lightning here in a second. Maybe only one strike, maybe two. So we're just going to get the sheep. Boy, it wandered far, eh? There's a lightning hit. Didn't didn't get much. Seems to have damaged my. Oh, it did actually get a lot. It blew a hole in my floor. That's no good. There's no sound effect. That's kind of weird. No sound effect. Whatever. So now someone's going to have to go on uh, construction. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Frankie. This is going to prioritize construction. And Seward's actually going to go number two and get two priority for cutting trees. <sighs> yeah, that was a little bit of a curveball. That uh, thunderstorm out of nowhere. There was actually a lot of trees I just marked out. He's on repairs anyway. It doesn't uh, it doesn't thunder in the winter. If uh, if you had um, thunder and lightning in the winter, it could it could be catastrophic. Um, you know, if your roof got blown off or something. But that was that was like a full power lightning hit on uh, one of the weakest roof types. That I think the second weakest roof type. So that went okay. But again, I've I've hit uh, I've I've had that hit uh, like libraries, crafting stations, direct, um, and really can cause a lot of problems. Um, and uh, after the next big update, it's going to propagate fires. So this building would have caught fire, and they'd be like, they'd have to put it out or something. I don't I don't quite know how that works, but okay. Um, the next thing I have to do is get these folks harvesting everything that can be harvested, because. Um, winter is coming, and uh, you want big, big reserves of hay and food, berries, mushrooms, all of those things. So, uh, who's hauling currently? We're going to send Christian to harvest and Seward to harvest now. And yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, except or he's... Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Okay, cool. Hopefully they'll start with the crops, because the crops are starting to come up here. Maybe I could get another crop in the ground, but uh, how long does it take overall? Maximum yield in 14 days. So no, we've got we've got not enough time um, to grow. Really? Maximum yield 14 days? Cabbage grows as quickly as barley? That doesn't... Is that maybe, that, maybe that does make sense. The cabbage grew faster than that for some reason.
nothing got destroyed, and that's what matters. Actually, stand first. There we go. Okay. Well, almost. And they are hauling in the cabinets. Great. So yeah, we'll wait until there's a bunch of food stockpiled for winter before we uh, really tackle the, the stone situation here. We're gonna need a lot of mining done to build this to build this building. Um, usually, I get to confident i want to say that's the that's the word i get uh you know i plan way too far in advance like oh yeah we're totally going to get there this year but usually you get like half a building done before something messes with your plan um so in this case uh i'm going to finish the smithy which is going to be like i said our first stone built building um and then we'll go we'll go from there it's actually the smithy is going to be two uh stories tall though um, and that's important, and it's going to have some windows in a second. I just need to figure out where those can go. Um, the windows will be on its second floor. So it's how long is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in length. So we'll go two, one, two, one. And is that centered? That's centered, I think. Ooh, I'm crossing my eyes here. No, I messed that up. I put spaces of three between the windows. That should, um, nope, nope, I messed that up too. It's hard for me to see for some reason. I'm, uh, really 12 long, but I guess that makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so what's an even way to distribute windows? What if I did one window? So I can do a lot of windows. But that won't be even, because it's an even number. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll wait to see the internal floor plan anyway. Um, I'm also going to put stairs up so that the second floor can be reached. I just need to figure out where those will go. Probably over here makes sense, right? And that way I can create a second... Oh, this has taken a while. Maybe I can create a second um, stairwell. Okay. It's need to be reinforced doors. Regular old wooden door to separate the rooms. And so when you come up those stairs. You reach this hallway. You don't really need to go all the way down the hallway, though, do you? You just need to get to there, and then there's a door, and then you're in the whatever this room is going to be. Um, okay, maybe it's easier for me then to uh, think about the dimensions of uh, sleeping quarters, proper sleeping quarters. A bed is three units by one unit, um, a proper bed anyway. Speaking of which, I have some research I can probably buy. Yeah, so we're going to buy blacksmithing, and we're going to buy... Uh, decorative structures. We're going to buy research, and we're going to buy 
cooking is what I want next, but I'm not quite there. Someone's researching anyway. Great. Okay, let's say it's a bedrooms like that. So we've got a block of three, a block of three by four, and then the center room is four by four. That we're gonna need to put some uh, uh, beams, beams in this place. Can't put them at the door. I can put one there, right? Yep. So beam, beam. That should hold. Yeah, in both cases the beams were offset. That yeah makes sense, kind of. Should allow me to close that floor gap. Yes. And There we go. There's a even window distribution. I knew there was a way to do it. I just had to. It doesn't look even, but it is even. Okay. And I guess that means I can now actually just site the furniture in advance. Someone will get around to building it eventually. And the bed in the middle of the room, the bed in the right corner of the room. Yeah, okay, we'll wait on that, but we're each going to get a weapon rack somewhere in the room. And a bookshelf. One bookshelf somewhere in the room. And they're going in similar locations right now. Yeah, that's good. And then I can put something out in the hall there, like a backgammon table. I, I have one already, but putting another one is good because their population will grow. And I mean, I could even put a shrine. I could put one. We don't have an Oak Brethren shrine yet. So I can put one Oak Brethren shrine there in the corner. And so that way, um, any Oak Brethren worshipers, of which I think I have a few, um, can get their religious needs met. As far as a roof on this thing, I, I kind of want to go with a peaked roof, but I also kind of want to go with a flat roof in part. I don't know. That's 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 tough because you know I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, a peaked roof on to start, and I'll I'll do a wooden roof um, just to get coverage before winter. Because that's uh, sort of the priority right now is just preparing for change in seasons, and then we'll uh, we'll revisit what the roof is made of and its dimensions and all that um, once the building exists. And maybe I should actually put a couple windows, like one there, and I think the top of the stairs is there, so that wouldn't make sense. But maybe just aesthetically, hmm. That window's on a door. That's no good. Fantastic. Window. Uh, window. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to put a window there. And that's good. Okay, so it's not, uh, can I put one up there above the shrine? I guess then if I put that there, that would make sense, but also I wouldn't need the shrine there. We'll put that somewhere else. Because that window becomes a defensive way to protect this, this doorway. Um, oh, which got finished too. They finished the reinforced doorway. I might actually put a 
a second external door um, just to just you know just in case the uh, the enemy decides to batter their way through. No, we won't. We won't. We'll save those materials for um, building elsewhere. So they seem to have hauled everything in now. Um, it's autumn day one. So I am going to switch over to um, mining now as much as possible. And I'm actually going to have how oh we got lots of food oh she cooked all the food already okay well i was gonna say i'm gonna switch over to turning some of those cabbages into animal feed but it looks like we're gonna have to keep what animals we have this winter on our hay um which hey isn't that much of a problem um you know they're going through it fairly quick the advantage with the kibble the animal feed is that they uh, consume much less of it um but on the on the flip side, um, you don't have to cook it, right? It doesn't it doesn't take from your natural ingredients or your your food uh, that you're using for other things. And I think I think we're gonna just cut down their food usage by slaughtering some of them um, for meat. And holy tits, we just got attacked. Okay, uh, what do we got? Three archers, three fierce marauders, four marauders. Piece of cake, right? Right, 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 right. They all say, um. These guys look fun. We've got a uh, plate armor wearer. We've got a great helmet there, um, a couple shields, and I'm really interested in the bows for uh, upgrades for my bow wielding people. But uh, I think I gotta get everyone inside right away. Yeah, the enemy's right there. If anyone's, oh shit, they're all outside. Come on, guys. Enemy's gonna beat them, I think. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's uh that's a little closer than No. Get inside, you nitwit. Oh boy. Okay, that was that was uh stressful. And I gotta get Frank down on that door ASAP because they can't come in. They cannot come in. Yeah, Elmer, kill someone. I gotta get this guy who's beaten on the door first, I think. That's the... Okay, we got one. I have to kill that archer next. But we need this guy dead. We got him. Archer's just gone down so fast. Doing okay here. We got through the first door. Got the archer. So you see, it's like a... It's hard to explain, but... It's not too hard to hold a building, but the more of them that come, the harder it gets. And you know, when they wind up showing up in the 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 the, the dozens, um, that's a lot of people attacking your gate at once while your archers are trying to. And what happens if I move my archers around the side here to get the shots? Not really an advantage. Open for. Nice enfilade effect there, but we're gonna get through that second door, and then I'm gonna have an actual problem. Maybe. This should route them, I think. This kill. Shoot faster. Damn it, shoot faster. Hmm. 
Well, that's no good. We got him. Kill, kill. There are really bad shots when you want them to be good shots. Okay, nobody is critically injured. I think Francis is bleeding. Uh, looks like it. He's got a bruised leg. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay, we'll send everybody back. I'm going to need to build another set of reinforced doors there. And I guess, you know, even though it's a lot of stone to do it, or a fair amount of stone, I guess I should floor the uh, the smithy properly with stone, just just cause, or in case I want to dig under it or build a subfloor for some reason. But it's not going to have a kitchen. Shouldn't have any cold storage. I don't think it needs a basement, but floor is good. Yeah, they're all picking up whatever. He really needs to wear something better than a cap. I'll give him the ability to choose ranged weapons. And now, well, it's... What's her... Uh, she, yeah, she got a marksman of 10, so she needs to pick up one of those longbows before they decay in the rain. And... Elmer has a warbow, yeah. And Anais uh, is still uh, marks in nine, so. But she should still save the Warbo by holding it in the stockpile. Or the, whatever I built in here, the weapon racks. Which, they're doing their jobs, they're holding the weapons. They're holding all the weapons for the community. And that's, uh, that's what we want. That is what we want. You notice I'm leaving, like, a uh, one gap space um, on a lot of these structures. Um, or multiple gap spaces. It's because I'm actually going to build an exterior facing with the um, the finished ash layer block. So you you know you'd have sandstone construction underneath, and then ash layer stacked in the front, um, which is stronger and looks better. Um, and that's that's what we're going to do here. So these buildings are actually going to be one unit larger. Again, why I said this is kind of a temporary roof because I don't know the the final final dimensions of the building once I uh, include. Um, like an, an upper level, a solar, or a uh, a, a wall walk uh, section that maybe like can provide uh, cover into the the uh, courtyard here. Because when I start making crossbows, and trust me, we're gonna we're gonna make some crossbows. Um, they're gonna be made in this building, and they're probably gonna be stored in this building, um, maybe on the first floor. But uh, the crossbow. Building should itself be defensible, just, you know, in case people have to fall back there. Um, and then there's... Oh, look at that! Our influence is growing! So, um, there is a map. I haven't I haven't revealed it yet. But there is a map. There are other communities who are the ones sending traders to my community. Um, and they, they, uh, they are um, gaining respect uh, for Ravensworth. Good, great, wonderful. Now let's get someone building ASAP. I'm actually going to have two someone's building ASAP. 
Oh, they mine. Great, so this building will be done in a couple days. I'm not going to invest too much effort um, in anything else, at least on the construction side. Uh, it would be nice to get a second building here um, in this row so we have like a dedicated... I want to keep sheep in this pen eventually. Um, so we have a dedicated tailoring spot. That's probably going to be the next, next priority. Um, so yeah, we get the blacksmith. We'll have a bowyer on the first floor, um, some beds in the second floor. And each of these outbuildings should have uh, one or two beds. This is going to get a second floor, too, eventually. The, the kitchen. And it'll, get, it, it'll probably get a little bit larger, I think. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see where the, the final wall on this side goes. But I think... Uh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. So if I count five out from... Oh, one, two, three, four... One, two, three, so four, and then it's actually going to be five units out from the fourth. Two, three, four, five. So the final wall will uh, run along this axis. The outer, uh, oh, this is interesting. So if you, if you double click on something, you select everything of that type, which can be really bad. Um, but if you kind of fix your view only on those things that you want to remove, um, notice I didn't select any of the ones I didn't want to remove. That's just uh, any of the blocks. Pro tip, pro tip um, from someone who's got way too many hours in this game now. Way too many hours. What halfway through the video now, um, which is which is good. This is more or less what I figured we could achieve. Get a smithy done. I'm actually going to start putting down the benches because that's important. We'll talk a little bit about. Uh, can I fit in the? Oh, I can't fit in that corner. That's a sick fit. Sick fit. We'll talk about the smelting. So I'm going to need to put. Uh, do I have to space them out for any reason? I don't think so. I'm gonna put four smelting furnaces in the in the, the smithy there. Now the reason we're putting four smelting furnaces is because there are four different things to smelt. There's iron, there's steel, there's um, gold, and there's silver. So each of these will be set to smelt one of those things. Um, and that might be, you know, I don't know where I'm gonna start. I guess maybe in this pit down here is where I'm gonna start to store things that get smithied, um, like like metal bars, because they're they're not gonna be stored in this room, obviously. I think I got enough space down at that end for an armorer's bench. Mitch, let me just check the the workshop. So it's not a workshop if it has. That's interesting. It's not a workshop if it has uh, s s smelters in it. That doesn't make sense. We're gonna we're gonna test that theory. I, it doesn't make sense. That seems wrong. Um, but we will have to put some uh, decorations in there, and that'll be a tool shelf there, and we'll put another tool shelf 
uh, somewhere, somewhere over here. Maybe just on the, the. Actually, let's double it. Yeah, they're actually finishing this room. That's good. That's good. Um, I also didn't put any uh, beams in the basement. So where'd my second floor beams go? Yep, that's okay. And, and a beam will fit there. It's a little, a little wonky, but uh, you know, actually, yeah, it's too wonky. I'm gonna actually build that out. I know it's free space, but I really want that to be an entrance proper and the beams to be of equivalent length, just for aesthetic reasons. And we still fit an armorer's table in the back there, which I can probably... Not quite. She needs ten more. Is she research? No, she's building. Um, who can research other than her? Yeva can research. So we're going to put uh, Yeva on researching so that that at least keeps taking forwards. And we still have a lot of food. I think we're going to make the winter on the food we have. Um, if not, we, we can slaughter some goats, like I said, and we'll be great. And that's going to need stone brick. Which I don't have the... <laughs> I haven't learned how to make stone bricks yet, so... It's going to actually be a little while for the crafting stations to be uh, done. Might as well fill the holes in the floor there. Oh, and most important, I even completely forgot, most important, we're going to need uh, braziers in these rooms um, to keep them warm. It's in the... We're gonna use iron torches because aesthetically they just are the best. Um, in the in the winter, these open windows are going to admit. Um, they'll need to be closed because they'll they'll admit like cold, drafty air and reduce the room temperature. Each block has its own uh, thermal insulation level, um, so the interior temperature is determined by the level of thermal insulation. The stone should be pretty good, uh, particularly when it's roofed. But the uh, the braziers that you can put in the rooms are just going to give a a sort of better background temperature. I'm gonna sh hide the uh, hide the room types. You can also hide the roof. I see you can just toggle roofs on and off. Any of the peaked roofs, anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going like this for another few days. No merchants have shown up yet. Um, that reminds me, if I can, I have not yet built. And this one's important. I have not yet built a merchant stall. Um, I guess this building's in, in its most final position, so I'm going to put that there. And the merchant stall just gives the merchant a place to go to when the merchant shows up to your town. Um, I'm actually going to assign him to build that right away. When the merchant shows up to your town, they go straight there, which is just makes it easier to find them. You can also look very quickly at the merchant table to see what kind of wares they have. You're like, oh, that's a guy who sells seeds versus, oh, that's a guy selling swords. Like, there's there's a difference, and there's the, the difference is uh, visually represented. But yeah, like, it's it's not uh, it's not high drama. Um, it can be. It, can, it definitely can be. But it's more like a slow progress toward a goal with lots of uh, planning ahead. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm actually going to have them all switch to building now. So it's kind of like a barn raising. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get it done. Um, I'm sure we've mined enough stone by now. And certainly, one way to do it in this game is to uh, just primary an entire uh, activity for the whole community, and they'll just tear through it. That's the idea. Again, like a like a like 
like a barn raising like a proper i think it was the, the amish the amish do a barn raising you know you get the whole community together and um in one afternoon you build a barn kind of like that except it's not a barn it is a uh a smithy smithy with a barracks Oh, they're building all the... That's great. I do have some gold now, too. Yeah, that came together fast. How much stone... Lots of stone left. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's how you build in a hurry. Um, you just mine a bunch of material, and then you don't even have to transport the material. You just convert your entire community for a day or two over to building. Um, and then I'll convert them over to cutting. We're going to cut some trees down to get some wood, because we're going to need the wood for fuel in the winter. Basically, I think looking at the timer here, this stream is going to end um, with the arrival of winter. So we're going to get as ready as we can. Um, our food's slowly ticking down. I don't think there's much more in the way of food. Oh, there's a lot of berries. We could gather the berries, but so they won't. They won't wait. The building will. I think we're okay. You know what? I think we're okay. If I if I gotta hunt in the winter, I gotta hunt. But I think eighty nine uh, stews. They're not gonna go bad. I actually need a little bit more cabbage here. Almost done. Well, I guess we have wood for the roof. They just need to... I get it. Keep the uh, trees cut back on the sides here. Yeah, he's roofing it right now. That... Who is that? Christian just putting in overtime, I guess. At 2 in the morning, he's still working. What's his sleep schedule? Same as everybody else's, except for Elmer's. I don't know why he's still working at 2 in the morning, but he's still working. 3 in the morning. This guy didn't sleep. He's going to pass out. Yeah, he's building the bedrooms. Weird choices. And he just went and lay down for an hour. He's going to be up at 5 in the morning. Weird choices. So right now, this building, this stone building, obviously, is even better uh, as a defensive position than the uh, tower keep here. Um, we're definitely going to expand this tower keep and the, the whole keep. This is going to be a corner of the keep, but the whole keep um, encompassing Great Hall, Chapel, um, uh, Solar, like like all of the uh, and a big a big a big internal kitchen too. Um, and in the end, um, it's all going to be built in 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 this space. Um, I mean, it'll be much much larger than it is right now, but. Uh, Again, this is actually a pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent approximation of a uh, castle, though, like a like a fortified town uh, or, or fortified settlement in progress. Weapon racks, get some bookshelves.
Oh yeah, this is great. They're just tearing through it. Just tearing through. They had a stone, not even, not even. So. Now I can afford the armorer. Yeah, okay. We're gonna put the armorer's table and that'll be the first crafting station. In the end, I might build more than one of these um, types of building. Um, there's certainly only going to be one in this courtyard because it's not a very big courtyard. Where does it? Where's the best place to set it? Just in that corner there, I think. Yeah, it's not a very big courtyard, so like I can't fit another building of that size on this side. But uh, in the keep, I may be able to put uh, more of these things. Maybe not the smelters, but the um, the blacksmith's forge and the armorer's table which uh requires wood it's gonna need wood so we're kind of low on woods i wonder what happens when they finish construction this construction's done everything that needs to be built is built we're still getting wood from somewhere though And they're even putting together some of the beds. Well, that's good. Yeah, so normally I try to build way too big. I think that's what's going on. Um, but this, this building was a perfect size to finish on the timeline that I needed it finished. Yeah, it's not the prettiest building, right? Like, it, it doesn't have any... Uh, architectural flair. In fact, it's it's kind of ugly with the roofs not lining up properly. And um, but it's but it's my building, and I built it. Um, and it's the first stone building in Ravensworth, so we're proud of it. Ah, we got a merchant. And they're finishing the roof. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This building will be done um, in the morning. I wonder what I can get from that merchant. I'm about to find out. Looks like uh, raw materials and foodstuffs. See uh, what I was telling you, though? You get uh, the ability to... I'm just going to toggle the UI there, take a screenshot, which I'm sure you'll see on YouTube. And it does have a cool screenshot interface, like the, the ability to get the camera in kind of a, like, this is your settlement, and then save that. Although I, I, tend, I tend to actually use uh, Steam screenshots, um, which for some reason, like these buttons should be hideable too. When you toggle the UI, those should also disappear. I sent her to talk, but she didn't go because that's a persist. See, she's just not resisting the order. Talk to the merchant. Okay. So we're buying the apple saplings. No question. Those are the most important thing. Um, apples are fantastic because the trees spread. So you plant four, you wind up with eight, you wind up with 20, you wind up with 200. They can be cut down for wood if you need it. Um, they also do produce a lot of apples uh, once a season-ish. So, um, sorry, once a, once a year-ish. Um, so you get one big apple crop or like a uh, continuous tick of, of apples throughout the year. Um, but we're buying those saplings and it doesn't look like she's got anything else that I super, super need. 
buy some alcohol from her if I want, but more so the question becomes, what is she gonna receive in exchange for the apples? We're just gonna sell her those two summer clothes and uh, as much, there we go, some tallow. Of four apple trees, and I'm gonna plant those right away. Not up here. Um, this this raised field area is actually uh, gone because now it's courtyard. We're gonna pave this area uh, next year. But I think I think I'm gonna put an orchard just right out front the gate. That makes sense to me. There's no other reason. Or there's 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 no there's no other type of tree that would make more sense there. Two, three, four, five, six. Put it on the seventh in the middle. And that one I can just eyeball. So, and I'm going to set them apart. Uh, yeah, we'll space them out by two. And so that'll be a large field of apple trees here. Which is great, right? That's, that's just fantastic. We want... Uh, readily accessible foods, and I can I can grow them other places here too, and I will. But um, the priority, because he's planting it right away. I don't know how long it takes when he when he puts it in the ground. I'll uh, I'll check. Apple tree uh, maximum yield in thirty six days. So yeah, it takes uh, three quarters of a year effectively uh, to. And I don't know how they grow in the winter, so it might not be till next fall that we see apples, but. There will be, there will be apples. That roof is going to be finished, and the bed's going to be finished, and the bookshelves are going to be finished, and then this building is done. Let's check room types now. That's being classed as a bedroom. But this, oh, it doesn't have a bed yet. That makes sense. And this doesn't have anything yet. How are we doing our research? So I need uh, recess 20. Oops. Um, then give it back to do research. Room created workshop. Oh, because they finished the armor bench. So I did get a workshop, even though... All right, so... Let the record show. Even though it says cannot have any other workstations or shrines, the smelter, despite not being listed, does not prevent you from forming a workshop. That's good um, because they're so they're so important, and it just makes sense to have them in the same room. And look, we've got bedrooms. These people are living well now. They are they are living well. They've got uh, quality beds. Uh, things to do, still, still no Oak Brethren Shrine, but, uh, but everything's coming up Ravensworth here. It's autumn day six, so yeah, we're probably not even going to make it to winter. Winter's going to be, um, the next episode will be surviving winter. I don't know what I should put on that main floor of this building. I could put more beds, um, but... Like I said, I kind of want a bowier there, like a like a carpentry workshop, or I could put a kitchen in there. Um, that wouldn't really make sense. No, I think I think a bow workshop and uh, armory on the main floor make the most sense. Out of curiosity, do I have a hallway here? Yeah, so this hallway dead ends. I can connect it right out to the wall walk um, when when it's done. And again, all this this gatehouse might be the next thing to do in stone too, or the tower. I'm uh, why is he unconscious? No reason. No reason. Two more research done. And third bedroom just finished. Fantastic. Now everybody's got a place to stay. Um, I could start to move beds out of the tower or out of the, the kitchen building there and shuffle stuff around. Also going to need to close all the windows uh, before winter. That might as well happen 
on a short timeline. All the windows in the base need to be closed. There's no, there's no reason to leave them open. Um, you don't want cold air inside at any point. I wonder if I change the roof types to anything. Does that affect the aesthetic of how it meets the uh, uh, the next section there? Just this is just a uh, for looks. It's not really uh, functional. No, it doesn't. There's not really a way to get those uh, segments to line up. That's too bad. Turn the room types back off now that I've got the rooms. Yeah, so I'm I'm probably going to wind up putting a peaked roof on part of this and a flat roof in the front part um, with some crenellations. Someone's shutting the windows. Look at that. Look at that. So we got uh, someone with nothing better to do went around and stewarded close all the windows. Um, and that is under jobs. Your steward um, manipulates all of those things that need uh, manipulating. Um, doors, windows, locking, unlocking, um, lighting, torches, fueling, braziers. Um, that's an important role. And, and when winter rolls around, you pretty much need a dedicated steward or two in a large castle. Um, just to keep up with like the menial tasks of torches running out and things like that. Um, also, you can set uh, individual torch type materials. Um, do they burn sticks? Do they burn wood? Do they burn coal? Uh, coal itself can be made, um, and definitely in the next stream we're going to get a uh, charcoal burner set up. And it'll be in the courtyard somewhere here too, probably uh, probably um, where the barley is or was, but. Uh, the charcoal burner will um, allow us to make coal and to start making bricks. And the bricks are going to build a uh, monastery slash cathedral slash meadery um, that's going to go squarely on this. So our, our fire, like a fermentation station, is going to be um, on this rise in the middle of the, uh, the town area. We're going to call this. This is going to be the town proper. Um, and the castle's up here with the, um, the keep. Um, and the inner wards, and then this will be the outer wards, um, where, the, where the town is. I think that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, let me know. Oh, Frank is shearing a sheep. We're making wool. We're actually, oh, do we have any wool? Yes. No, no. That was the first wool that we made. Got wool. Look at that. And so that, that sheep being um, on its own isn't going to breed. It's just one singular male sheep. Um, and I don't think there are any sheep elsewhere. No. So there are no other sheep in the wilds. Um, we're going to need to wait for a female sheep to either uh, join the community or uh, to be led to the community. But once this pen is full of sheep, we'll just be making wool. Um, and that's going to feed an industry that will give us stuff to sell to merchants. We're going to be, we're going to be, Filthy rich, uh, lots of trade goods in a short order. And all my uh, all my apple trees are in the ground out here. Day seven rolls around. Still got stone out here, not too much, and we're going to need to start uh, uh, building down. Unfortunately, there isn't really a much of an option once I've got those installed. Mine that out. I'm going to start mining down to the next layer. Who did we get? We got Wallace. Uh, I work with Wallace. Wallace is uh, joining us. Maybe. He's a cunning mercenary. Melee of 25. This guy this guy can crack some skulls. He's a cunning mercenary. Yeah, it makes sense. 
um, with some construction proficiency and low ass speechcraft. That's what I can see. So again, probably not a people person, uh, hopefully not a cannibal, um, and some smithing and tailoring and marks, and maybe maybe he can shoot a bow as well. So that's yeah, another mouth to feed, but uh, it sounds like he can uh, fend for himself, maybe. But I want to know what he's about before um, before we uh, before we commit. He's got a green thumb. That's it. Plus three botany. Okay. And what's he good at? Mining. Wow. He's good at mining and at melee. And he's only a marksman of five. So yeah, this guy's going to be useful. Um, Wallace can stay. Um, he can dig. And we're actually going to put him on mining right now. And set his work schedule. Yep, and manage how he uses things. So he's a very proficient fighter. Um, I want him to use a sword and shield. Definitely want him wearing helmets. Um, definitely want him dressed. Oh my goodness, what are we all wearing? People, people, winter is coming. What are we all wearing? I'm glad I checked this. So <laughs> urgently, we're going to need some winter clothes. Um, that's probably going to have to wait for the next stream. But uh, with a few days until see it's 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 just it's just above zero outside right now. First frost has arrived, and um, more than half of my peasants are not dressed for winter, which is death. That is death, um, even in a fairly warm room. So who tailors? You tailor. Oh, Christian tailors. Okay, Christian can stay in the community for now. Um, yeah, he's better than Wallace at tailoring. So. You go to your tailor bench, uh, pick winter clothes, set it to until you have. Um, and how many people do we have? We've got seven people, and four of them aren't wearing. So, you know, there we go. We're making winter clothes now. I'm pretty sure there probably were winter clothes out there. This, so this is a dog. Dogs join you, but then they don't know how to get to you. And I'm not sure you get you gotta like open your doors, you prop your doors open and they come through, or but you can't rope a dog into a pen. Um and so I've not figured out yet a way to get the dog inside my castle. I would like to. I'd like the dog to be inside because it seems like you can train the dog um and maybe make it more useful or make it controllable in a fight or something like that. But uh <coughs> if you know how the dogs work in going medieval please do drop me a line in the comments let me know um how do dogs in going medieval work i, I feel like i could google that and there'd be a simple answer but i'm not going to um i'm just gonna let him wander around out there for now he can eat these corpses he's not short on food all right and once once you get down um in the mining You know, if you've got a quarry like this, it almost makes sense to um, weatherproof it because that's such just such a big part of there's a big part of the game, but um, covering covering that will allow them to. Um, mine to see what they're mining in the winter um, when and I don't care it's just a wicker roof it's, it's throwaway materials but uh, see what they're mining in the winter um, when there's snow on everything else and we're actually gonna open it right up except for that great absolutely fantastic this in the end will be a deep pit, I think. There's iron and stone down there, and then, you know, eventually we'll build a quarry over here and quarry that iron and that stone once we, you know, probably when we're, we're creating the, the ashlars um, for facing this structure. But we're, we're not going to see a trebuchet, I think, until the upcoming summer. So I've got, I've got a little bit of time to solidify stuff in stone. Obviously, a trebuchet would just tear through this wooden tower. Um, so getting that tower done up in stone is going to be key. Um, but really, I actually I want to protect my my critical buildings first. My kitchen, 
my blacksmith. Um, those are buildings that ought to be uh, hard to uh, destroy, hard to demolish. Uh, still no idea what I'm going to put on that first floor. We'll, we'll get there. We will get there. Oh, I'm, I don't have any clay. We actually ran out of clay. Unbelievable. Look at that. So I thought I saw some clay. So yeah, there's some clay here. And I'm just going to um, we do every other row all the way across. Every other row all the way across. That'll be lots of clay. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm gonna need to move some things around too when I uh like this this isn't staying there, the smokehouse that I didn't even bother to set production for. Um that should have just been smoking meats. Um but I built it and we didn't smoke a single meat. Oh, there's a uh, merchant here. Before he leaves. It's another merchant. He came with one apple sapling, uh, some barley we'll buy. We're actually going to buy his seed, carrot seed, and some flax seed. Yeah, we're just buying all the seed. So this guy is uh, setting us up for the next season. And he buys summer clothes as well. So I want to sell him... I can sell all their summer clothes because I'm, I'm definitely going to make more. And it'll just rot in the stockpile anyway. And what else do I have that's worth money that I don't need? Let's sell the junket, but we need all the food we can get. And I want to keep the chronicles because I need the research. Maybe if I sell two chronicles and a junket and a meat. Yeah, that's good. And they'll slowly haul the rest of that stuff to the stockpile as well. Well... Um, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna leave that there. Um, this is coming along, coming along nicely. Uh, everybody's doing what they. <laughs> oh bless me! Uh, everybody's doing what they ought to be doing, and there's no uh, there's there's nothing further I'm gonna get done this season um, beyond um, sort of consolidating what I was already working on. Um, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching. This has been uh, Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a uh, community management game from Foxy Voxel uh, in the vein of RimWorld. If you uh, if you like watching me play these games, let me know down in the comments. Please, of course, sub to my channel. Um, yeah, keep it peaceful out there.